Hey guys, welcome to BP The Bible Perspective. Critical race theory. I want to share just a few thoughts uh, on this subject. Um, and I'm planning to do a more in-depth analysis, and especially on the angle that I'm coming from today. I'm seeing a lot about critical race theory, and the, the perspective I want to come from is this. Uh, why are so many Christians... Why are so many Christians speaking out against critical race theory? I can also ask why are Christians speaking for critical race theory? But my main focus is I'm seeing a lot of people speaking against critical race theory. And here's my thoughts about this. When I see this, if this is the same kind of argument uh, that you see against Black Lives Matter. This is the same argument that you see against um, the 1619 project that you have people slamming and there's a segment of our society white people um, who are saying why should why should we go along with this the situation seems to come this way there are some white conservative and it's mainly coming from the white evangelical conservative camp now of course, it comes from the greater community uh, culture, okay? But this idea that we're tired of black people talking about racism. Racism doesn't exist. Or racism doesn't exist today. Racism is part of our ancient history. To that, that's what makes their argument disingenuous. If you want to criticize something, and I'm talking to Christians, I'm not talking about Fox News, the One American Network, and Newsmax, and all the other, who, by the way, they are the bedrock of this white evangelical, this white conservative kind of whiteness networks. Um, and the reason why it needs to be flushed out even more because, again, it goes, it roots go back to the very racist um, the DNA of our nation, to which this is why they're upset. Now, critical race theory is an academic. <laughs> That's what it is. It's an academic. Let me let me let me let me read you a paragraph, and I'm going to get into it now. But let me read you a uh, uh, let me read you a a paragraph here. It says, CT, uh, CRT, Critical Race Theory, originally developed by a Harvard legal academic as a tool for examining persistent racial inequities, has become a political weapon in the clash between Democrat and Republicans in the U.S. between the conservatives and labor in the U.K. Interesting U.K. I'm not going to get into the U.K. Especially since the resurgence of Black Lives Matter, uh, the Black Lives Matter protest. Blog posts Excuse me, are being written, uh, defending or denouncing it. Twitter wars are being fought with it and over it. And sadly, as it's recently discovered, battle lines are drawn up by the church too. Now, this article was um, put out by, let me get this, my brother's name here, Premier Christianity Magazine. And, uh, it is by uh, Chris Kadea, 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 I'm about to butcher his name. Um, but I, I, again, we, it, the, the, my point here is the reason why people don't like it is my point. So here's my thing. If you're going to denounce critical race theory, Black Lives Matter, 1619 Project, and each one of those... Look, they're academics, by the way. No, uh, BM, <laughs> Black Lives Matter is not uh, academic. The 1619 Project is. Um, the Critical Race Theory is an academic. That it's, in other words, it's coming from the, an academic world. Um, and there are pros and cons to both. What I'm most disturbed over is how many Christians are denouncing it in favor of the kind of sentiment that we don't have a race problem. Or why are we harping on race problem? That so many white Christians are still hung up on race. So many white Christians are taking the attitudes that we don't need to talk about race, especially when we still have a race problem. 
Racism has never been dealt with adequately in our nation. Um, racism is something that still influences in the back of the minds. Now, those who argue against critical race theories, we use technique, argumentative techniques to hide their true motive as we just tired of y'all talking about race. Get over slavery, get over Jim Crow, and get on with it. And that is a discussion that needs to go further, by the way. That needs to go a lot further. So the idea is start with truth. So if you tell me that, for example, in the 1619 Project, and by the way, I'm, I'm, the 1619 Project was a project that uh, her name was Hannah Nicole, uh, decided to do. And I think there are some uh, legitimate criticisms. I think one of the biggest problems with the 1619 Project was when she made the statement that the Revolutionary War was fought for the reason of slavery. Um, that's not true. She does stand by it and cites her reason. But here's my thing. Okay, that's a, probably a legitimate point to to criticize. But they're saying the 1619 is a lie. Is it? You mean slaves didn't land here on 1619? When you're talking about a critical race theory, if you're saying that what? That, okay, is there criticism in how, for example, Black Lives Matter? So what what are white Christians doing? They have to take white, Black Lives Matter, for example, the movement that started with police brutality. That movement, especially when it came to uh, Floyd George's murder, and went worldwide. And that fired up the good God-fearing white folks. And basically, um, now, let's again, let's criticize an organization that started with the slogan, Black Lives Matter, right? So what is the argument when you say Black Lives Matter? Well, you say all lives matter, which is a lie because all lives didn't matter. All lives didn't matter in this country because black lives never mattered in this country. And when has black lives matter in this country? So the idea is that if you're going to talk about, if you're going to slam one, so what do they do? They go to the organization of Black Lives Matter. Well, remember, this is not a Christian organization. So, okay, the Black Lives Matter organization, if they're Marxists, they're lesbians, they're this. Here's my point. They're not a Christian organization, nor are they really a government organization as well. But go back to the original Black Lives Matter statement. Tell me where they went wrong. So when we come to critical race theory, the same thing. We're talking about, you're talking about how uh, 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 culture, laws, policing interact. Is there room for criticism? Of course there is. It's an academic. And by the way, it's not a Christian organization. So why are Christians so what do we do with critical race theory? How do we should we respond to critical race theory? You got Christians talking about how do we respond to Black Lives Matter? And here's here's the commonality, whether it's the 1619 projects, Black Lives Matter, or critical race theory. This is a scapegoat. The fallacies, the 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 things they find objectionable, are only a, an, a, a scapegoat for not really dealing with in every, in each one of those cases. But the fact that racism, especially in the church, and let's really talk about racism in the church, how racism in the church persisted, guess what, 30 years after the Civil Rights Passage Bill. So let's talk about the mentality. If you want to say that in each one of those cases, the 1619 Project, critical race theory and the Black Lives Matter, and say that these things do not have an influence today, they certainly have one in our culture, and they certainly have one in the church. So we need to deal with that. So my thing is, as Christians, why are you so upset, upset about those things? How about talk about the true racism that still exists in the church, that still exists in our culture? There's a lot to talk about there. Look, guys, that's my perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. Until next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to BP The Bible Perspective. But till next time, I'll see you then.